And I mean, she would be the star in The Sleeping Beauty. And I would be right at the beginning, the corps de ballet. And there I was, this woman I had dreamed of as this wonderful dancer, and I was working with her. Dorothea Ashbridge was just a teenager when she moved from her home in South Africa to London, where she soon found herself dancing alongside the great Margot Fontaine in the Royal Ballet. And I'm standing in the wings, waiting to go on in this role. And my legs would go like jelly. And I think, how am I going to get through this? The moment I hit the stage, disappeared. She witnessed history, like the scandal of the Russian legend Rudolf Nureyev defecting to the West. She travelled the world and she fell in love with principal dancer New Zealander Brian Ashbridge. That's what brought her to her new home in the 1960s. I really, I hate saying this, but I thought, whatever I come to. <laughs> because not, not only uh, having travelled the world and, and had the most wonderful life with the Royal Ballet, I mean, we were treated like lo royalty. We were. We didn't have to do a thing. Everything was done for us. But the country she now loves was very soon to bring new adventure. She was at home with her young son when the producer of the groovy 60s music show Come On came knocking at the door and asked her to choreograph. And he said, it's not ballet. It's the latest cra craze, the shake, go-go. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> anyway, um, I thought this is a challenge. I'll take this, and I said, yes, and I think why, because when they, when we had parties in London, I, I used to go mad and just, I used to do all the dance crazes at the time, and I think just word got around. Dorothea mixed her love of ballet with contemporary dance for the rest of her career. She taught the modern dance troupe Limbs, whose members included internationally recognised dancers Douglas Wright and Mark Baldwin. She also continued to teach classical ballet and was a jury member for many prestigious international competitions. I found teaching, I loved it. And then working with Limbs, I mixed the ballet and the contemporary the audience. You could tell, they just loved limbs. She says being made an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit is recognition for the whole New Zealand dance community. I suppose that really and truly uh, being in New Zealand is something special to me and now that I've been awarded it's even greater. I just, you know, I'm very proud and very honoured. Dorothea rarely dances now, but credits it for her wonderful health at 91. Despite her remarkable achievements, she feels her love of dance means she's never really had to work. But back in the 1940s, her parents made sure she had a backup. They made me take a commercial course in short hand typing, bookkeeping, commas. And so I was the full secretary. Can you imagine your life without dance? No, no. 